people survive <laughs> but people do in this part of the world you're welcome with a lot of cold and beautiful white snow yes it is beautiful but uh, sometimes you just can't help to wish that uh, there was not all this snow and some sand dunes maybe if only like Philip the Evangelist, if we could just have a, a transportation and be carried by <laughs> and go shh. say, God, remove the mask I have and the mask called I am a Christian. The Christian mask. I sound like a Christian. I dress like a Christian. I act like a Christian. I move like a Christian. But I don't know Jesus. This is the reason why many churches today don't have revival. Jesus is waiting to see if you are serious about your pursuit of him. This is the reason we have many men of God but very few friends of God. And the level at which you sacrificially pursue God is the level at which 
you will tap into God. When you know certain things are going to make you lose the favor of God, just run from it. This thing, if I touch, because of me, my spouse is going to lose the blessing of God. Because of my decision, my church is going to lose the blessing of God. Because of my decision, my city is going to be hurt. So if God can find one righteous man, so your one righteous, can award some wars that is purposed by Satan. Thank you. Hey, we are in the Starbucks in UAE. This is Pastor Vijay, as some of you already know him. He has a fast growing anointed church in Mumbai. So we finished with meetings in Sharjah and Dubai. How was it, Managod? I spoke to the nation of UAE through his prophet, and there was an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We experienced a very heavy presence of God. We were seeing people just weep out. It was definitely a revival that God stilled in the hearts. We hear about it for many, many times to come. So now we are heading to Abu Dhabi and uh, how long is... Uh... Abu Dhabi is an hour and a half drive. The roads are going to be very, very good. It's a big six-lane highway. We can go really fast. I think uh, the speed limit is 160. Woo! So pray for us. Uh, come with me. very strong prophetic word for some people here. I know that God is up to something. Start with that brother. The Lord is showing me as yes, the enemy has been consistently trying to press you down. Tears have not stopped. Some people that, that are with you don't really like you because your thought process is different. Do you know what I'm talking about? You can tell me if you don't understand. So in 2019, one door was closed. And the Holy Spirit is telling me, don't worry about that. Okay? And the Holy Spirit said, that door was supposed to be closed, says the Lord. And because of that, your soul is saved. I saw a Filipino sister in my vision. And I said, I saw a golden crown come on her. Yes, it is time to have some women ministries. That girl in the back, stand up. No, in the front, the one who was, yes. Leon, I see you entering into new shoes. So you have to get rid of your old shoes. Come here, come here. Phew. I saw you weeping, just like you have tears right now on your face. You were weeping. And it was the Lord Jesus standing in front of you. The Lord Jesus was giving you a crown. For some reason, you have to push, my dear. Don't give up. You have one chance. If you have a question, lift your hand up. One. Okay. We'll start with that one person. Yes. Oh my goodness, that's a big question. Did you hear the question? He said, how do we love Jesus like the way you do? I 
have had so many failures in my life but i have decided i will never stay there because i love jesus too much the secret of a standing man is not that he never fell down no the secret of a standing man is that he learned the art of getting back up over and over again Successfully managed to pull off Ka. One less from a century of vlogs. And I'm telling you, it's very, it's not as easy at, as it looks. But I know I missed one last month. Um, it's been really hectic time. Um, but I'm going to push hard. Yeah, right now, when we finished. Um, after these meetings in Dubai, we went to Durban. Um, I was visiting one of our Revived Nations church that was planted about 10 months ago by our pastors, Pastor Weiber and Pastor Mukta. God has been using them tremendously and we had a fairly fruitful time. Um, just going there and uh, seeing what God does. Right now I'm at the, the London airport. I'm excited to get back because I missed Catherine's birthday by one day um, because of some ticketing issues and so I can't go back and uh, make up for it. Yeah. You remember Dada? Are you learning it now? Yeah. You just played it now? Yeah. That's so good. What are you excited about the most uh, with your birthday? My room. Your room? Okay, you want to show us your room? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, wow. Tell us about your room. So, this is my room. Dad helped me make it pretty. Mm -hmm. You see, like, all the decorations on the walls. Mm -hmm. My new bed. Mm -hmm. And also... Um, <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Thank you, Kelly, for getting this because I like it and I take very really good care of it. Was it. Have you made your bed clean? Yeah, I'm still making it. Design this for Moses. Okay. You don't want me to put this part in the vlog, right? Um, what part? Like you fixing the bed? Yeah. Put it as okay? Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you make your bed all every day or is it just for the vlog? You do it now. Yeah, but hey guys, I want you to subscribe to our channel if you're watching. Whoever's watching it and knows Jesus. And wait, I want to say something before I tell you the question. Jesus loves you very much. And no demons will be attacking you. All your demons will be bound. In this thing, amen. Hey, Ruthie, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're videographing. Don't disturb. <laughs> what are you doing, Ruthie? Don't do that. <laughs> Why you do that? Make sure to subscribe. I will be leaving your comments. Until next time, stay under the mighty hand of God.